Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 14. Yep, of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, which seems to be easy, so it seems to be okay. Um, hope y'all are enjoying or enjoyed the Good Friday and uh, Good Friday, I don't mean. Friday the 13th is what I meant to say, uh, and nothing too crazy going on. Uh, t today I ran like four or five miles, well, no, not just, not five, just more, more goes to four miles, which is like, I don't know, 8K or something? Less than 8K, but uh, yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, much less actually, like 6K, 7K, but yeah. In any case, and tomorrow I have a race in like a couple of hours to wake up in, so we'll see how that goes. But today's easy, we have a easy problem, so let, let's take advantage of it, let's enjoy the weekend. Um, yeah, and... Yeah, and if you're here, you know, and you feel like this problem is too easy, let's do another one afterwards. Let's, yeah, let's let, let's do a bonus one afterwards. Uh, and we'll, uh, I, I usually choose them by randomness, so I can't tell you what problem will be. But it'll be a problem that I have not done before, I have video on. So it'll be an entirely new video afterwards. So de definitely uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to, you know, just do a, an interesting one with Larry. So, uh, assuming this is too easy, so we'll see. All right, let's take a look. Let's get started. Of 2566, uh, maximum difference by remapping a digit. You're given the numbers, you're sneaking, remap one of the digits to another digit, return the difference between max and min uh, by remapping exactly one digit. Okay. Uh, okay, different digits for min and max. Okay, I mean, I don't think this is too tricky. We have, um, ten, I mean, 10 to the 8 seems like a big number, but I think it's a good practice for uh, just reading constraints in general, because in this case, we only care about the digits, right? Um, and yeah, and as a result of that, um, 10 to the 8 only has 9 digits, right? And that's if you have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8 zeros, right? So for uh, for normal purposes, let's just say 8 digits. Um, and with 8 digits, you can try a lot of things. You try fu uh, a funky, like greedy or something like that. But probably the easiest way is just recognizing that you're doing eight up or a loop of eight, but each operation is, you know, pretty cheap. Um, or each loop will be pretty cheap, so you can maybe just even remap um, all the possibilities, right? Because basically you have zero to nine, then you have 10 digits, and then you map it to one of the other numbers, which is, well, 10 times nine, so 90 possible remapping, and then just take the min and then take the max of all those, calculate the delta, and we are Gucci. And that's basically how I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah. So we have the max is you go to zero, just keeping the max. Min is you go to, I don't know, just some infinity number. Um, sometimes I, I get questioned why I always define my own infinity instead of, say, you know, math dot infinity or something like that. Uh, and the short story is that, um, and I don't think I'm doing anything with this problem, but it's just uh, uh, muscle memory and a habit. Sometimes you use a smaller number if I feel like, you know, because 10 to the 20 is a big num, um, but, you know, it is definitely outside the domain of even long longs so or 64 bit 64 ints. Um, the reason why I do this is just because in some problems, I, I get a little bit lazy, uh, on harder problems more specifically. I get a little bit lazy on the operations, and math.infinity is um, uh, a, a full, right? Uh, it's a full body type, uh, body type, full, full data type. Um, and as a result, when you add a flow with an int or something like that, it may, I mean, it's consistent, but for me, I just, you know, don't want to think about dealing with even more rules, right? Where if I keep everything using int, even if it's big int, uh, if I like add one here or something like that, it doesn't, like it's what I would expect it to do. Uh, just, so, so in a way, it's just fewer surprises. And for the most part, it should not, unless you're doing something really funky, um, it should not cost you that much performance-wise. Um, and it's just like another two seconds to type. But, and that's basically the idea. Anyway, for now, we can say uh, from start in range from 0 to 9, right, inclusive, and in range also from 0 to 10 or 0 to 9, but 0 to 9 inclusive, you know, start is 9, you go to end, then we just convert, right? So maybe we can even just uh, do string of nums, or num, rather, uh, to convert to length and then just convert it to a list. So we have, um, I don't know, right? naming things is always hard, but yeah, just maybe an array, right? And then now, 
uh, yeah, we can. Or maybe we don't even need to, really. Yeah, I mean, maybe, I mean, we can certainly do it, but maybe like s num for string num, and maybe we can even, you know, take advantage of the library and go replace start n. Uh, start and n um, are ints, so you would have to do, uh, convert them to string to do the replace. And I think that's the syntax. Sometimes I, uh, I feel like in reg uh, regular expressions, I, I confuse them. But yeah, now you replace them, you take the int version of replacing them. Uh, and oh yeah, I was going to, uh, the, the reason why I pause is that I wanted to check if there can be leading zeros. Um, for example, you have 11891, you convert the ones to zeros, then, you know, but apparently you can do that, so that's fine. So then we just could be lazy. I mean, even if we can, is an extra if statement, right? It's fine. But um, we are then here, uh, so then now maybe this is the current x, the current number, uh, and then yeah, we want to update max, we want to update min, and then we, at the end we just return max minus min, and hopefully we are Gucci already. Uh, give a quick submit. And there we go. It's a little bit slow because we do string operations, I guess, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, you know, the complexity is still roughly the same, right? This is all of A, where A is the size of the alphabet, if you will, where um, which is 10 digits. Uh, this is also all of A, so you have all of alpha square. Uh, and this one is also all of, well, this one's actually all of D, where D is the number of digits. So in this case, it's 8, as we said, because it goes up to 10 to the 8. So that's it, right? And then maybe, depending on how you want to call these functions, I mean, they're technically constant, but they're also technically in the number of bits. So I don't know. But yeah, uh, but that's it. Keep it short. Uh, and we'll do another problem afterwards if you want to join me, but that's basically the idea. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Uh, if you don't you know, do the other one, have a great weekend, everybody. Stay good. Stay healthy to commando health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.